let's just do a good old-fashioned Boros aggro. And let's put in the card that we think is good. 10th District Legionnaire. And Feather, Feather, Feather. So we're going to be running an 18 land list. So I'm just going to put 9 and 9 right there for now, but we're going to change that in a sec. Dread Horde Arcanist. Check, 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 check. We're going to put in Feather. Oh, we already did that. Uh, runaway Steam. Oh, I punched my microphone. Get these puppies in here. Sahili. Chicka, 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 chicka. Oh, and this says target artifact becomes a copy. Isn't that, isn't that toy? Finish deck. Yes. Uh, let's see here. Defiant Strike. We run absolutely crap loads of one drops. Uh, Samuts. Shock. Get one out of there. Um, sheltering Light. Ryle. This is an interesting one. Yeah. This is fascinating. Deals one damage to target creature you control, gets trample, and you draw a card. Just a way to buff the 10th District Legionnaire. And also to draw more cards with Sahili and shit. Um, let's see. The other ones are Maximize Velocity, a single one of those. And then... Oh my god. You know, can you believe this? Like One of the worst cards I think I've ever seen is actually going to be run in this deck. I mean, wow, what a garbage card. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the fact that this deck is restricted to essentially only creatures that synergize with this is what makes me a little more comfortable. Again, the other deck I was running, we had a lot of things that were nuking up that uh, um, we would self nuke. Uh, and now, now that's a reasonable explanation, but the better the better attitude for me to have is, God, this guy, it hurts to put this in because I get to prove to you how wrong you guys are. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is going to feel incredible. Uh, Sacred Foundry, and what the hell is the other one? Uh, it's a Sacred Foundry and a Burn Plain Bear. What the fuck? What's the name of the other dual land? Clifftop Retreat. God. I will never remember this. Oh, let's edit the deck name real fast. This is, whose list is this? Evan Irwin. It's important to give credit. Evan Irwin's Boris Agro. Great. Burning bear plane. Yeah, man. Because, like, you know, White Saw is like, gentle, sanctuary, unity, community, you know, and then, like, <laughs> red is like, fire, explosions. Oh, I forgot to put up the deck list. You guys, I'm fucking sorry. Chip. We're gonna bore us our way up the list. Watery Grave. Deals four damage to target creature you don't control and two damage to target creature I do control. Okay. Hey, Hazard TS just subbed at tier three. Hazard, thank you. Very sweet of you. Cast down. Do this foist. Is 
Seems all right. Yeah, let's just do this. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. All right. That's 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 pretty good. Now it's basically precisely cast down that wins the game, huh? Absorb just to stay in it. And now concede, St. Patty. Saint yeah, we did it. We won a game. Tenth District Legionnaire. Give me this. Give me this. Yes. Yes. Yeah, dude, that episode of Game Nights was so fun, man. You know what? I'll, I'll probably post this deck list after this game. <laughs> uh, bam, bam. Yeah, I mean, why not, huh? Do I want Dreadhorde Arcanist, or do I want 10th Dr District Legion Bear? I think I want the Dreadhorde Arcanist first, because I would like to hit an additional land drop to be able to cast Feather to Redeemer. Sean doesn't actually believe in deck lists, that's right. I've done the research, and I've determined that deck lists cause vaccines. Alright, so let's run this out like this. Alright, I'm a very lucky boy, okay. Alright, so now let's attack with those. Yeah? Yeah? That one. Yeah, I actually really want that one. We already have all the land we want. This is so good. Holy shit. Alright, you got it. Yep, Healy's, Healy's, Healy's. I mean... So, I mean, th we just win this shit right now, man. <laughs> Indestructible. Fuck, man. Alright, all attack. Oh, it goes into exile because of this asshole! God, I hate me! Ah! All right, so the interaction here is that whenever you cast something... Oh, hell yes, our opponent messed up. Yeah. Yeah, this is the thing that really sucks. Sucks. Can I order that properly on the stack? Let's see. Because... Nope. I don't think there's a way that you can get that to work.
you explain the interaction with, with Feather? Yeah, no, I, I don't think so. It just goes straight to Exile. So Fe Feather reads, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery uh, spell that targets a creature you control, so I give this indestructible, that spell immediately goes to Exile instead of going to the graveyard as it resolves. So you can see my Defiant Strike hanging out there. Oh, what the shit. So since that's happening as it resolves. Um, this thing doesn't have anything in the graveyard to trigger it up on. Uh, can I win this, like, right now, somehow? Oh, this is instant? Tight. Nice. So I just blocked the big dudes on the ground. Alright, so sheltering, uh, so defiant strike. On this bird. And we cast this Reckless Rage. We shoot this. Target a creature we control. Let's put a stop there. Good thing there. Clifftop Retreat is fine. We don't really need that. Uh, let's see here. And then I can... Yeah, I think I just gotta do it to this guy just like a shitload of times. Yep, 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 that's fine. Yep, oh yeah, we want that. Uh, yeah, no. Whenever you cast a non creature spell. Oh yeah, that's like so good for us. Uh, and then this guy again. Yep, 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 totally. It's all good. Yep. So now we're gonna go to combat, we're gonna swing with this. You want to block it? That's fine. It's fine. You can block it. You got it. Okay, so it's now at the end step. Okay, so we resolve this. Resolve this. Resolve that. Yeah. Yeah. Then we go to this part, and we just defiant strike this. Oh shit, I'm out of fucking mana. I'm a dumb dumb. Man, I can't believe I forgot about that. Whoops. I needed to cast one less thing. Okay. Now, because I'm with Mr. Smarty Pants, I brought not one mug, but two mugs of coffee. Thumbs up for your pal Day9. He's the smartest. Prime day for justice. Oh, look at that. I will lend you my strength. Getting vigilance is a bit of a pain. I think that's the wrong one. I think that's the wrong one. I messed up some ordering here, but that's fine. Great. Be 
indestructible. I think my opponent should have done this as Vigilance. I'm a Saber says, I'm going to a pre-release tomorrow. What color do you think is going to be the most reliable? Never really operated that way. I just I just pick whatever I think is the absolute dopest. Alright, I mean that hurts some, but not the most. What an interesting creature. Let's see how you work. I would like to hit a land. I do like this. That actually works, doesn't it? Bravery wasn't enough. I, I actually think that this deck is maybe not the most complicated, but it's, it's hard for your little pal Danine's brain. <laughs> just like it's just like new interactions. I'm just like ah. Yeah, I have no idea what the best uh, color is, the most stable one is. Poor little brain. Yes, the poorest, littlest brain of them all. So I think I want to Defiant Strike to draw another card. I'm going to make so many tokens. Doesn't really matter, deal two damage. Alright, nice, land. Alright, the army of one ones will win us the game. Whoosh. Ryle, huh? Okay. So we can do like this. And then we play this absolutely useless card, Reckless Rage. I mean, God, the the degree to which this card is just weak, it just is never <laughs> ceases to amaze me. I don't actually think Maximize Velocity is going to help us too much. Uh, yeah. So I just want to draw a card. I, think I, just, I do want to keep growing the dude. Okay. Yeah, give me the land. The more land I get, the more 1-1s one I get, right? Oh my gosh. We are, we are, I can't believe this is, we're actually doing it. Whoo, Sahili with the feather, with the, with the swarm of cantrips and one, <laughs> one of things. It's like ridiculous. All right, Meth Oliver. Oh, you never run out of card draw with these guys. There you go. Okay. Probably don't need that many more of those things, huh? This is pretty unfair. Gotta admit. We can do this, right? That 
one. It targets this one. Which makes a bunch of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Don't need more Sahilis. Okay, so now we're gonna do Samet Sprint on this guy. It's gonna make him bigger. We're gonna scry. It's a Defiant Strike. That's actually good for us. We want that. Yeah, we'll take that one. And then we're gonna Rile this to give it one damage. I cannot believe that this is working. This is so awesome. Buff this. Oops, 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 oops. Client lagged a little bit, but it doesn't matter because that's all that we need. Then I'm going to make this artifact become that. I like to think fast. Are you fucking kidding me? It doesn't keep any... Ah, oh, come on. Whatever. <laughs> ah. <laughs> God, I thought I was a real clever dude. believe we've done this. I mean, that's n none of this is fair. None of that is fair, even a little bit. Discard three cards. I'll discard this. I'll discard this. Discard this. <laughs> Doesn't copy counters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We did it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, everyone. Okay. Do, 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 do. Conclave Tribunal. Da, da, na, na, na. We'll see what I really don't need. Is some, like, kill everything whose mana cost is one, and I'm like, <laughs> Would have won if you copied Feather instead. Uh, I don't think so, because if you copy Feather, the legendary rule comes into play, so you have to... Forcibly disco one of them. I think it's correct, Mundo. Oh my god, I didn't put up the deck list. Oh! Alright, so. Um, Stacking all the buffs on Feather of One, not that it particularly mattered. Uh, I don't think so. Because every time I target the 10th District Legionnaire, it gets a plus one, plus one counter on him. Which is why he, which is why it's able to grow so big. Uh, I think I just... I just do this instead of feathering. That's like stupidly good. Uh, distribute the damage, I guess. can like swing with everything. Depending on what we draw, we can like rile, pre-combat rile. Yeah, I think that this is probably the best that we got. Not a spell, so I just want the spell, right? Alright, and then I don't attack. Alright, so many Riles. 
So many riles. So many riles. So many riles. Maha. I'm Judith and I'm a scourge diva. Okay, so can we Oh yeah. Oh, we definitely don't block you. Oh, this is awesome. Uh. Holy shit, this is actually ridiculous. I feel like I have an Ajani's Pride Mate that also, like, cantrips. Yeah, Fireblade Artist is, like, totally okay. Tide Taker is, like, a fine, a fine man. So this Dreadhorde Arcanist is effe effectively a chumper right now. You know what I think I'm interested in? I'm interested in sharing this deck list. Took me a little bit. Took me a little bit of time. I'm sure everyone's been asking for it, and you know I provide. This is Evan Irwin's Boris Agro. Always good to give credit. We put a sideboard together? Absolutely not in one million years. We don't do sideboards here in Day Night TV. And the deck list is up. This is not a good hand. It has no units in it. Um, we're gonna get there a hundred percent. God, I'm so good at that. God, I'm spectacular. Yeah, no, you got it. Never in Sentry. Quite the gentry. Alright. A five faker. Tithe takers, thirst slaker. Now we have not even seen the runaway steam can do stuff yet. We have not seen it do stuff. History Banali is like not that much of an issue. We're not gonna block this. Oh, so good. Ah, oh, yeah, no, uh, land. Yeah, 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 yeah. Land is really good. Oh my gosh, look at look at everyone swelling up. This is so good! What the f what?! This is ridiculous! I mean, come on. Oh wait, is that- I mean, is this game? I mean, fuck. I mean, I mean, 
dude like. Dude, this is <laughs> this is tight. This is so fun. This is this is just really satisfying. This is balanced. This is fair and balanced. Well, I mean, this is, this is what happens. Like, okay, so we we're just doing Naya buffers. Yeah, you're not gonna want to do anything but hard cast. We're doing like Naya buff yourself, and it was it was like not actually working so well. Um, I think I just I think I just swing if I swing with this. If I make this a copy, and then I put 1-1 one, one counters on the copy. Something like this. Gotta block it. Probably gonna do a little chomperino. Oh! Uh. Oh my god, yeet. Oh god, I love it when Day9 says yeet. God. Yeah. Do it. Bong. J'ai la défense. You got it, man. All right, well, I'm gonna do a little digging. I think that's right. You know, you can block with all things. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Plausibly, I should have just swung out. Plausibly, yeet. <laughs> ah, yes. Wow, I didn't draw the absolute stone cold nuts for once. You know what? That is okay. There's only one good trade. I don't even believe this. I don't even believe in Steven. Sky Marcher Aspirant. Oh my god! Yeah, we're, uh... Can someone get the Windex? Can someone get the Windex? I don't believe it. Yeah, we gotta get some Windex to stop me from all this streaking. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna hang on to this deck. Uh-huh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> awesome! Enter button. Oh my god. Never, ever, ever losing games once I've played Feather. <laughs> it's like it doesn't matter. Like, I, I now am permitted to say stupid shit because I'm starting to win. If only, huh? 
if and only. Well, it's time to be disgusting anyways. It's time to be just so disgusting. I could go for another land. Now... That is all good. Now what I wanted to do is... So this... So this little guy... Ah, oh shit. This little guy says... Whenever you cast a red spell, and this says, uh, you may cast target instance or sorcery. So, I, I actually think that it is possibly, plausibly possible. To get that guy to four to be able to play Sahili, Sublime Artificer. This is, this is great. This is great. <laughs> yeah, all right, dude. Friday's turning around. Oh my god. Tenth district, pal. All right. Well, this. This is just a chumper. A chumper bumper now. I'll wait till end of uh, opponent's turn to define strike. What's the card in the opponent's graveyard? This is one of these new new guys. When Pollen Bright Druid enters the battlefield, choose one. Put a plus one plus one counter on a creature or proliferate. Which is still not as dope a mechanic as populate. for chomping. Uh, so we get four damage in. That wasn't very inventive. You cast creature spell create. Oof. Okay. Looks like we're winning. This doesn't do that much against us. We'll lose Sahili, which stinks a bit. But you know what are you gonna do? Cast creature spell, create a 4 4 warrior with vigilance. Yep. Oh shit, I missed casting on that one. What am I doing? What am I doing? This is obviously the correct target. Okay. You know, some of these plays are pretty good. Let's scry. Really, really nice. Wasn't that just a thing of beauty? Ok, 
Okay. I'm gonna probably have to target this guy. I'm expecting a big old swing out. Oh! Bing bong bong. Resolve. Don't need more of those. Let's see if we can get like a rile or something. Oh my god, Reckless Rage. This is super unfortunate that we got this really weak card. I mean, I guess I'll have to target a creature I don't control and I have to target a creature I do control. I mean, oh, what a tragedy. You know, this is this is probably this should probably be a lesson to me not to run such bad cards in my deck. Yeah, you know. Gotta keep the Rile. I mean, what are you gonna do? This is where I expect it all to tap out. Or something like another March of the Multitudes. God, that card's so bad. I mean, like, honestly, deal four damage and buff 10th District Legionnaire at instant speed with recursion. I mean, that's such dog shit. I mean, you have to agree with me on this. Yeah, okay. So, the, this essentially says that I must buff this in the sky. That's the only way to make this work, because right now there's just a little too much life gain. I want, is there any way for me to actually get enough damage in? Question. Um, swing out. No, 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 no. 17 lifelinkers. Our opponent is at 27. Our opponent is at 27. Be careful. Don't fuck this up, guys. 17 lifelink blockers. But I do think that this is the play. Now we can actually clear out a bunch of the tokens. I don't think I need that. Four damage to target creature. Uh, no, no, no. We, we gotta do it like this. Four damage to this. Two damage to this. Great. Good, 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 good. Nah. Vulnerability. Don't think we need to maximize velocity. We're not going to play the Dreadboard Arcanist because we have a lot of spells that we can cast. Good. As fast as you can, dude. The wall. Okay.
Okay. This god, this god is not actually that difficult for us to deal with. Oh, that's so good. I guess we could we could have gotten this Ryle off, but I think that's fine. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Steamkin mana. Um, I am aware that the Steamkin was giving me extra mana, but it would have let me cast one extra spell. Well, I guess I did have one white mana untapped. So that was, that was an error, yeah. Well, I did it. The Astronomer. So, Dana, do you think Abzan tokens would be good? Um, I can imagine it being really nice, uh, depending on how you do it. Like, I, I can wrap my head around Abzan from a more controlly perspective, because you have March of the Multitudes, and then you have that uh, finale of Tutus. I don't remember what the name of it is. <laughs> finale of Tutus, the, where you just have, like, a bunch of fucking knights. Pay two and X to create uh, X two twos. Finale of Glory. If you mean Abzan and Amass, um, I don't know. I don't know what I think about that. I don't really know how uh, good or bad Amass is. I am not a good enough player to predict things in a future looking sense. Incubation. What? A rekindling phoenix? Oh, hell yeah, scene. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, dude, we're about to pop off! <gasps> oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, tight. Does everybody see it? Okay, so we do this. And then we do this. And then we... This isn't as amazing as I want it to be, but it's pretty good. You can block with your land or elf, that's fine. Yeah. Hold, I'm just literally here in awe of this deck. Okay. 
Yeah. And you know that 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 Thopter keeps the two two. <laughs> oh my god! I feel I feel like I've discovered ladder point arbitrage. Yeah, no, yeah. You just give me an idea. Wow, Defiant Strike and Sheltering Light, dude, that is funny. Eh, eh, my God. Well, you know. All right, how how, how do we even want to do this, man? I mean, I think I just go ahead and just stack them up. It lagged a bit. I didn't get to play the thing that I wanted, but you know, whatever. It's all fine. Oh my god. My god. Can't believe I've done this. I feel like a bad person. Yeah. Masker Girl is the only answer to this? Yeah, Masker Girl it is. Holy shit. Yeah, Jade Light does it. Jake says, how would you feel if this ends up being the nexus of fate uh, of this expansion? Uh, this deck feels like it will be quite flimsy to, like, some key removal. Because it needs really to start getting off the ground, right? If you just, like, start nuking stuff. Fine Finality. Uh, wouldn't do it, no. Th this deck kills before Fine Finality becomes relevant. Although, it will get stopped a little by it. I don't really need that, because I just have everything. Wait, where'd my, where'd my plus one go? Oh, because I did it before the end step. Fuck. Alright, well. Okay. Rage is pretty good. Oh, dude, fuck it, man. Here I go. Here I go, man. How about a Steamkin for this deck? Dude, I don't even know. Everything in this deck just feels absolutely out of control. Math is for blockers! Yeah! <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not going to try to compute how to stay alive here. Mm, 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 mm. My name's Day Nine. I'm killing this guy. Oh, it's upsetting the cat. Meow. Hi, Despy. Wow. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I think with, with a few control cards, yeah, I definitely think this deck would struggle. Hi, sweetie pie. Yeah, I love kissing you. I fucking love kissing this cat, dude. Words cannot express how much I just love kissing that cat on her little head. This 
with my cat Despy, short for Desperado, but Desperado is actually a fucking terrible name for a cat. Sheriff is the name of the other cat. Sheriff's an unbelievable name. That name is so adorable. Ooh. Wow, as if things were not going our way enough. We have not lost a game with this deck. Let's just go to Mythic today. <laughs> Whoa. Alright, ease up, Despy. Ease up, Despy. Is Sheriff just not an amazing name for a cat? Alright, we got a lap cat. We got a little kitty on the lappy. She's trying to find out how to balance. And I've actually gotten a whole lot of leg exercise just trying to, like, push my legs together to make sure the cat doesn't, like, fall through to the ground. Because she just, like, cuddles and she, like, starts to get drowsy. And I always tell them my cat's drowsy because her head just, like, ugh, I can feel a fud. This is not an elegant cat. Like, we do not have these, you know, these Egyptian-style... You know, because in Egypt they worshipped cats because they were these mysterious, interesting, aloof creatures. Like, my cat meows, like, all loud and raspy, and is like, Argh! Like, I, I have a friend who has a cat named Neris, and that cat is, like, literally like a home decorating quality level cat. Like, just this absolutely beautiful cat. These cats, like, Sheriff, Sheriff, like, doesn't have good balance. Like, Sheriff will be, like, walking up to me on the bed, and she'll, like, rub against my head, and then she'll just fall right off the bed. And while falling, she, like, reaches up and tries to grab, and I'm like, ah! It's, like, you know, it's, like scratches on my stomach from when the cat just, like, flops over. Good. Perfect. Hi, sweetheart. Got a little. We we just have a lap cat. It's it's so wonderful to have a little lap kitten. There's a lot of burn, so I just want to keep absorbing the burn until I hit that third land. Because I mean, tenth district legionnaire being able to get to a three three. But let's see if we can get that lap kitten. Is this the edge of the table? Okay. Tippy toppy, lappy kitty. God, it's really too bad that, like, I just don't have a wide enough collection to replace a garbage card like Reckless Rage, you know? It fucking sucks, man. Look at this little darling cat. I think I just say absolutely not the block. Very well. That is an unbelievably good card to get right now. So do, do I need to start swinging with this thing? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I trust this guy. He can do it. Yep. My estimations have turned out correctly. <laughs> All right, what what on earth are you doing? She has her butt in my lap, and the front of her is on the table. This makes no sense. Skits HH, five gifted subs. Thanks, Skits. And my little cat would like to say thank you. Thank you, Skits. 
Despie is a very sweet cat. She likes scritches. She likes hanging out. Oh my god, we did it. Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's still fine. I thought this was instant, but when you're this mediocre at this game, you know, what are you going to do? This deck is amazing. Every game is a win. All right, this is this is a pen. Yeah, let's get the pen. We might lose, but the deck is still great. All right, looks like we get a shock. <laughs> All right, get the pen. Oh my god, I, I don't know what happened. Did we lose? Is this what losing feels like? Yeah. Whoop. Careful, hon. This cat is so just fascinated by objects that I'm holding. This is fucking awesome. For any of you who are wondering if this is as satisfying as it looks, this is so good. We literally are playing a deck that is an out-of-control bear. I just like the game begins, and I'm like, and I start destroying people. And, uh, yeah, we got to mulligan this because we have no units. Do I have a unit? No. And whatever. We are really going to have to shelter. Some 10th district boy. In the arms of day nine. All right, this game. <laughs> All right, we, we lost. No. Let's just draw another one right off the top. That'll do, pig. Bzz, 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 bzz. Mold of five. Don't stay alive. Hell yeah. That's why we run the one maximize weakness. Well, what are you gonna do, you know? Look at this dope ass recursion we got going on. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, look at this. Boom. On the back of the Steamkins. Yes. I would not be surprised if our opponent doesn't really have a way to deal with this. And then has to just Teferi and tuck it, which is actually just instant lethal for us. We just like lose so instantly when that occurs. I know my responsibility. Dude, who 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 has the read on the game? But your pal Dane I knows exactly what's going on in this one. <laughs> okay, what do we have? Oh. Behold, new wonders. 
Oh my god, I really need just like a unit. Just any unit, man. No time for a break. <laughs> We're so fucking dead, man. Ugh. Reaping pepperonis. I don't even know why I'm playing this game anymore. Like, I'm a dead dude. I am D E D dead. I'm the deadest. Probability of living is nope. Yeah, let's get the hell out of this game. No! Right when I was going like, oh, we're gonna go to Mythic! Oh! Her. Um, we have two draws to get exactly red mana? No. Boy, my thing is lagging like spectacularly. frickin' -lerly. I actually do believe I want that white land. Someone asked for some Windex? Yeah, dude. We have stopped streaking. Green Emissia. Play the cliff top retreat first for dominance. For dominance. This kind of sucks, doesn't it? Priest of the Forgotten Gods, like any creature, plus that is going to be like, super painful. Taking a peek, huh? Don't have enough red mana to cast it. Getting to trample is pretty good. All right, we were just doing this. Exe Zelt says, "Are we in very focused game mode? Or can I ask a pretty broad question? Yeah, you can feel free to ask, man." No. Feel free to ask. Oh yeah. Ooh. When it deals... Oh, yeah, Dread Horde Butcher. I forgot about this pupper. Dread Horde Butcher is so cool. Oh, my God, dude. You can just Grim Initiate you. Oh, this deck just builds itself. Oh, this is so tight. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. We died. We died. I think I should maybe, uh, well, we do have four copies of the invulnerability spell. I mean, we basically just need to maintain board control, and if we don't, we're D.E.D. dead. All right, let us see here. Yeah, that seems pretty great. Going first, we got the Steamkins. We can begin to power ourselves up. Ooh, effectless, reckless rage. Exe Zealous says, what has made your most influential or favorite teachers good in those ways? Hmm, that is a very interesting question. What has made your most influential or favorite teachers good in those ways? I, I think that the, the thing that um, 
there's a few qualities of the teachers that I've really liked that are consistent. One is the... One is that they're just very, 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 very good at explaining things. I really love when a teacher just is able to sequentially lay out all these really awesome, cool ideas in a way that just, you know, steps me through it. Um, the second quality that I really like is when teachers just treated the class like the entire class was super intelligent. And... And basically doesn't try to make sure that the person who's most far behind in the class is taken care of and accounted for, but rather tries to make sure that the pace of the class is very crisp. And if people are falling behind, that's okay. You can come and see office hours, but you're smart, so we're going to actually learn a lot of material. We're going to learn a lot of difficult material. I really like that. Because, like, I, I, I still remember, because I went to Harvey Mudd, which is just a sort of notorious for being a very, very difficult college. Wonder what that's possible. Yeah, and like, um... Let us see here. Yeah, I went to Harvey Mudd, which was just a very difficult college, so I just adored so many of the professors there because they sort of had that same... Yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to shock this because I'm never going to have a better opportunity. This just disables the active abilities. The passive abilities still work just fine. Esper without Planeswalkers is way less intimidating for me to be up against. I remember taking uh, a class, because Harvey Mudd shares a campus with a bunch of other schools, and I uh, took this class over at Claremont McKenna, and I just couldn't believe how slowly the, the pace of the class was. I mean, it just moved on so agonizingly slowly. Just, just killed me, man. It was so bad. It was so refreshing to go back to like Harvey Mudd courses where it was like, okay, let's sit down. Let's start learning. You're behind? That's fine. We're going to keep on moving. Catch up. After class, I'll give you extra time. But in class, no, we're going to keep going. It was a weird little deck from Sambika. So that's one thing is, wow, remove shock. You got it, man. Teachers are really good at explaining. Teachers that treat you really smart, so they cover a lot of material. And sort of in the same vein, I really like it when the coursework is very difficult. In the in the sense of, I mean, I, I kind of wish that I had one more mana out. Maybe I should have waited one to be able to have sheltering light up. But then, well, does this deck run any counters? I feel like it should run at least a few counters. I'll run Vastus Contempts, too. I'm probably dead in this deck. Because the, the classes where I, I tended not to learn that much were classes where, like, everyone got an A. I want to, like, try, get a C, and be like, fuck, and, like, keep trying to learn stuff. And I think more than anything, I really like when teachers are just very positive and encouraging and specific with their compliments. All my favorite teachers, there's, like, a super specific thing that one of them said one time that just... I'm getting out of this game. I, I cannot be anus anus. At least we're encountering some losses. Mm. The teachers that just like, you know, um, I feel like I'm just, like, circling around describing professors at Harvey Mudd who are just, like, all so good. So freaking good.
but like you're struggling, you try, and then you succeed, and then the teacher doesn't just say good job, right? They actually like interact with you and talk to you like you're a person. Like that was the best. Um, so I think that like I, if I had to summarize, my, my favorite sorts of professors would be ones that covered a lot of content or covered a lot of difficult content in short periods of time. I think this maximizes the amount of damage. Teachers have covered a large amount of content excitedly and positively. One more land for Feather. Fuck, that's so much damage. Jesus. Shock in Kai's Wrath, and I deal a billion damage next turn anyways. like the runaway steamkins as much in this deck. They feel like the weakest link, for sure. What are my degrees? I have an undergraduate degree in math and a graduate degree in interactive media. And there's the game. All right, so this 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 just this particular match just felt super sick. Yeah, the Runaway Steamkins do feel like the weakest deck, or the weakest card here. What should we get an interactive media degree from? I went to the University of Southern California's Interactive Media Division at the School of Cinematic Arts. Ain't that a fucking mouthful. <laughs> USC IMD Cinema School. What is interactive media? Is Cheesy X games? Virtual reality? Augmented reality? Uh, no? I'm gonna get the land. I'm gonna get the land. How much do you hate UCLA? None. I used to work there, man. I'm gonna get it. It's not gonna be an issue. Dude, never doubt your pal Day 9. I think I just trade here. The yeah, undergraduate is bachelor's, graduate is master's. I think I just outright lose to this deck. I'm actually starting to think this deck kind of sucks. When it pops off, it pops off, dude. But when it doesn't pop off, it does not pop off, dude. One thing about Goblin Chain Rollers and Steam Kins is really hard to cast. I might try something like a Dire Fleet Daredevil or some shit. Okay, alright. <laughs> okay. Okay, alright. Okay. Oh my god, alright. Like, okay, what are some... Because if I look at this, I mean, we have a shitload of one-mana dudes. But what, what, what do we put in, in place here, huh? Is 
This does feel like the weakest one. I'm gonna use the restroom real fast. Static field? Um, maybe. Bum, ba, da, da. All right, what's what's a two mana creature? Because like this is buffs a creature for combat. This buffs a creature in combat. This works on a creature. 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 Doesn't. So I'm a little leery of doing something like. Um, Yeah, Danto Vanguard or Tithe Taker sounds fucking really good. Yeah, I'm trying to look, think of some creature. Let's look at some of these. What's burning? Profit. Hmm. You know, I actually really like the idea of a tie of the bigger. I quite a lot love that. Because tie, because the thing is that, um, so let's think about the option of a Danto Vanguard versus the tithe taker. Well, first, I guess I should justify why. Why am I cutting the runaway steamkin? We don't have as many red cards, so it's not going to get this big. Um, we haven't found enormous value out of just flooding out a crap ton of red mana. That, that's been relatively rare, and so for that reason, I, I I'm not I'm just gonna not say it's bad, but I'm gonna try to consider not doing it uh, for now. And so people have said Adanto Vanguard and Tithe Taker. Adanto Vanguard is very good against control. Uh, and is extremely weak against aggro decks, which feels a little bit like the issue we're having. Tithe Taker, I feel like, is a nice balance, where if Tithe Taker dies, um, we still have a token to be able to defend with. And because this has Afterlife 1, we have a bunch of targets for all of our little spelly dudes. And um, against Control, it allows us to play around counters. And once again, still have a bit of a board presence. So this is... This is this has changed now. Let's update the stream decker. Uh, Boros Agro V2. We're gonna call it V2 because we're starting to depart from Mr. Evan Irwin's list. Let's just call this V2. What about a Knight of Grace? It's a really interesting one. I think that I might consider instead of a Knight of Grace something like. 
Um, dire Fleet Daredevil. I think Tithe Taker, which is a suggestion from chat, but really, it really lands well. In in my mind. All right, this is this this one's a little a little thing of beauty. Oh God, I'm so happy to have that one. Bring it on, wild growth man! Damn it! Ah, <laughs> oh, farts! Crappity shit dicks. Crappity day. That is going to be a touch of a pickle, ain't it? I want to play this guy. And just uh, begin the, the great swing in and ink. Guy is Bolus' Citadel. What? Toot toot. Alright, looks like I'm gonna be in the farm of the mode. I'm going down to nines. Not, not the finest maneuver I've ever done. But I think getting out uh, Dr. Feather is gonna help a bit. The fact that we can just constantly grow the 10th District Legionnaire is freaking ridiculous. Put a permanent into the hand. Bond of Flourishing is an A-plus card. Okay. Come to me. Come to me, my friend. I think we, we're eventually going to want to distribute this among different targets. Treadhorde Arcanist is useless to us now that we have a feather, feather, feather. Getting back together. Tithe Taker. Mm, not useful here. Ah! I need to put the stop here because it's at the beginning of the end step. Bah. Start distributing this. Try to scry for something valuable. That's a good card, but I think this is going to be living for a little bit. Yeah, I mean, now that I have Skeely out... Bulls of Citadel is going to be a little scary. Sacrifice 10 on permits. Each opponent loses 10 in life. Okay, cool. <laughs> Tight. Sick. Super sick, huh? Oh my gosh. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast this on this guy. Just gonna keep buffing the brothers. Yeah, I know. I know that's there. I know. Welcome back. Alright. So let's play Sahili. And now we're going to... Ryle for a while. Bing bong bong. Defiant Strike is really nice. Okay, so what I wish to do is I wish to Defiant Strike up this guy. 
And then I'm gonna want to get a sheltering light soon, too. Oops. Oh my gosh, feather buff, dude. Feather buff dex is it. Gosh, that's hard. That's hard. Phylactery Lich. Not an issue. You're indestructible. I'm indestructible. Is that actually three Phylactery Liches in a row? Okay, so first things first, we need to give a creature indestructible. So, letting in four, four, yeah, we're fine. This, uh, chump this, chump this, chump this, and we die, right? We're dead? We're dead, dude? One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Rats. Shit. Shitty shit shit. Damn. Counted one less. What now? <laughs> oh, damn. Damn, we died two times in one game. That should actually count as defeating me in a best of three, I feel like. Oh, it's so good. I thought he had one less creature than he did. This is my bad. Ooh. <laughs> this is like really cool. Gosh, doesn't Tithe Taker already just feel better thinking about being up against aggro? Actually, have to race Vower for. Um, I think that in a few games, I'm going to build the Slesnia Tokens deck that I really wanted to build a Roni around a Roo. What's you in that list, huh? No, we are. We are. Oh, mm. Light up the stage. Light him up. Dude, Gideon is like the beatingest. All right, fucking dead, man. Uh, I think we're dead. Yeah, I just think it's, uh, I think this deck is just a little too slow to be able to defeat uh, red decks. Still, we still have a fairly good amount of health. Though. 
Wizard's Lightning. Yeah, that's pretty important to yield that, huh? This deck might need one drop creatures. Maybe Echo 444. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe chicken gravy. Uh, so. I mean, that's. This is the way it is, huh? Living healthy at 10. about what I can do, I think. This is about what I got. This is about what I got. surprised to see a um, another dude come down. We're just in, in a big pile of shock right now. might actually win this. We might actually win this. Does this deck feel really vulnerable to you? Without further, we just kind of die, right? Uh, it's without this. If this doesn't live, uh, it's like, it, it's basically all the new cards. Sahili, Feather, 10th District, and the other dude are just really, really scary. We play another 10th district. do this. I actually amazingly do not think I want that. Do not think I have time to start getting into value town. I really kind of need to just kill the opponent the next turn. Got you. It's a 
very good one. Now we did it. So now we get to go wide around. So even if our opponent chain whirls, we are in good shape. We did it. Wow. I can't believe we did it. We're the best player here. Ouch. Ow. Alright, feels good to be weaning again. I think the Tide Taker is a nice change. I, I think that the. Our friend Mr. Steamkin just felt very flat in a lot of games. It's kind of amazing because that card looks so broken until you start playing with it. <laughs> hey, who has any plans for the weekend that are exciting, man? I have actually had such a busy month. Like the busiest month. See to see some going with pre-releases. Sleeping so much sleeping says Squidly don't. Dude, yes, I cannot wait to ooh. Um mm, maybe. Alright. Hopefully Rogers has got two more days at Magic Fest London. Ooh. I had to read it real fast to make sure I wasn't screwing myself over. Alright, we're like one turn away from Infinity Destructo mode. Mm, damn, dude. I cannot wait to sleep a lot. Because, I mean, I know that the Mythic Invitational was at the end of March, and we're three weeks into April. Should be three weeks, right? One, two, three. Oh, four weeks into April. Man, it's just been a busy, packed ass month. Packed. Packed AF. If. And I just can't wait to sleep. I'm going to sleep so hard. Uther Riders, this first day of Magic Fest has been exhausting. First time it's taken it out on me. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Grand Freezer. Are tight, but a lot. Super cool to see a lot of the faces. I've shared a screen with my main man, Day9. Yeah, Hoofy Rogers. Yeah, who here is? Oh! My name is Day9. Target you, target me. I hope that that will be GG. Don't need that many feathers. Alright, we are protecting the president right now, man. Drawn cords, not a problem. God, I, I it really, I, it sucks that we have to run this card. I gotta be honest with you. It's never, it's like rarely ever killed anything, if that. Nothing, Buendas. Buendas, nothing. Daedric Hamster signing Tennessee for first house. My girlfriend after graduating university. Excited to finally be getting on with life. Hell yeah, F yeah. I would love some of that sweet land. So this will this will place my dude at five. Fucking come on! Where's the land at? <laughs> Fuck. So now my dude will be a five-five, which makes it very difficult for Blanders to kick it. Yeah, like buying a house in this economy. Yeah, dude. I I mean. 
the the good news about the invariable collapse of the United States economy is uh, I'd like to buy I'd like to buy a house I'd like to do that that'd be that'd be tight. Oh, the down payment will be eight million dollars. It is a four hundred square foot shack. It will be swallowed by the ocean soon. I'm like, okay. Oh, I really hate this area. Uh oh. Oh, this is an interesting one to sort of put in there. If I can just get... Oh, good. Let's just, let's just draw into exactly what we need, huh? Let's just draw right into it, huh? Are we kidding the shit out of me? Oh, the kid thinks the shit out of me. The kid thinks the shit out of me. So, shock, reckless rage, or any of our riles. We'll do it. I guess I should do this and then do that. So there's eight cards that do it. It's a five faker. Did I lose? I have. We has lost. Mr. Madness 2 says, just buy a $2,000 mansion in some small town in Texas where you can get a job in your set. You know, I, uh... One of the things that I like to do when I have some time to kill is not read the news, because that's just hell on earth. Um, I don't care what side of the political spectrum you're on. I mean, it's just yelling. It's just a bunch of people just mad and yelling all the time. I don't like that. I don't like being strung out. So, I, I've been reading stuff about, like, future studies and some of it meaningful, some of it actually just like, I would like sci-fi, you know, that sort of shit. Um, and one of the things that I was reading about that was fascinating to me is the idea of translocational working, where, like, I live in Germany, but I log in through an online interface to construction equipment in South Korea. Never didn't have it. And in this way... You can have, like, round-the-clock working on all this sorts of stuff. And I, I've been reading about this for a few years. You know, there was uh, the idea of, like, a digital bartender. Wouldn't that be nice to be able to get that? Wouldn't that be toy? I think I just keep playing these puppers. bartender in Germany where there is a bar in Germany with someone in Chile who logs in and operates the digital bartender something like that I mean there's already some elements of that like for instance oh fuck like, I stream on Twitch, so I can, I can like, be anywhere, and you can log into anything. <laughs> oh, did we just die? I think I died. Okay, all right. Let's let's build a Slesnia deck. 